All right, hello people. It's now nine o'clock at nine o'clock in the morning. So thus we conclude the hack night. And uh, okay, so a lot of us are sleep deprived, and some have finished hacks, and some hacks are underway. Let's look at the majority of the people. Right, so a lot of people actually did a lot of work and they're crashing somewhere else. And yeah, without further ado, let's just see what happened with the hacks. Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Jay. Uh, I was working on like plus one or follow like button for in touch ID. It is called in touch. The button itself is called in touch. Um, most of the part from client side is complete and uh, I'm about 70% 70, uh, 70 complete in it. Some features on server side like implementing JSONP and all is remaining. So that's where I'm stuck now. And I hope by the time JS4 is there, comes up, I'll be done with it and the feature will be online. So could you show us some of what you did or something yes. interesting? So here is the button called in touch. So when I press it, actually... Yeah, uh, just go back for a second and show that again. Yeah, this is it. Okay, go ahead. So when I press it, a script is fired and it says this because it has not been implemented on the server. All right, so that will be the next step for you. Yeah. All right, nice. Um, but I promise it will be online in next week. So when the final working app is there, what yeah. will happen? Uh, it will just connect to person. Uh, it will use the session of current person who is logged into the browser. And let's say in touch is there on some, some blog, XYZ person's blog. Then I go and say in touch. Then that per those two people are connected. They can securely and auto uh, securely exchange their contacts, which are auto updated. All right. Thank you. Hello, Billy. So um, my name is Harsh, and my plan was to uh, kind of uh, make a queue where you publish something on one end, and it gets uh, published to you know n number of clients, where the clients you know register themselves or join in at. You know, they listen to the queue at one end. So uh, I to I did my POC for it, and it's working perfectly fine. Now I'll build the final app in a week, and I'll show it in the final demo. Okay. Is there something you could show us? Yeah, I'll show you the POC right now. So this is my uh, server side code, which is basically using Node.js, and it's totally event based. And, and I'm everything. guessing this is open since it's being videoed. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> It's good. It's good if you if people can learn from my code. I'll be very happy. <laughs> so here uh, I'll run the code. So I started my server and I go to the browser. And I go to my server. So now I have two options. Either I can up, do a merge sort on my browser or I can publish it so people other people other browsers can do it for me so I open a publish page and I also join in so this browser will do a merge sort for somebody else it will do the uh, processing over here on the browser and send the result back so here I am joining in so I am registered on the server side I will open another browser so that I can share the workload so over here also I press enter so I join in so now I have two people who are ready to do ready to do merge sort for this publisher so now I enter some uh, data let's take this long string so now when I press go I get the result here which is sorted out and here I see I get only half of the data because I had two clients so I'm getting the other half over here and they are returning me back after processing their stuff and I'm merging it over there directly. Okay, fine. Perfect. Um, so, how much left? Are, are, it's completely working, right? Yeah. It's j Right now I'm just sending the data, but my future plan is to send the uh, logic also. So I can push any logic and any data 
and the browser will do the processing for me and get back to, with me with the result. All right, excellent. Thank you. Go. Hey, I'm Akshay Mathur. I work with Shop Show Shilly right now. Here I plan to create a movie in JavaScript. So this is small like two odd minutes story. So I just created completed it. So on the true friendship on the jungle forest background. So, so I just watched the movie. What, what did you use for it? What did I? What did you use to make it? So it is, so I used like sound manager APIs for mm -hmm. the sound, background sound and dialogues and you know, the typically the, the, the JavaScript is there with JavaScript, yeah, jQuery and jQuery UI uh, and some CSS, CSS stuff. Okay, great. So um, let's go ahead and look at the video then. Yep, sure. Sorry? Let me start it. Uh, I am feeling hungry. I need to find the food. Oh, I see a monkey there. Oh, monkey, come down. I shall eat you. As you wish, Master, but I am very small for you. Let me bring you a big tray. Okay, that sounds good. But come soon. Yes, sir. Coming. Elephant, elephant, you like banana tree? Come with me. I will take you to a big banana tree. Master, you eat this elephant and leave me. This elephant is so big. It can beat me too. Let me leave the elephant and eat the monkey. Hi, girl. Bring the monkey. Sorry, my friend. I bring you to the death. Yet you saved me. Thanks a lot. You are great and a real friend. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi. Okay, so uh, our, our code is uh, around the belief that uh, uh, the when we search but, for the... But uh, first, who, who are you guys? Okay, so uh, I'm Samyuk. I'm a Node.js and MongoDB developer. And I'm here for some good hack. Yeah. I'm, I'm Pratik. I'm, I'm, I'm a student and I'm from Baroda. And uh, just came here to hang out. Yeah. Hi, I'm Avinash. I'm working in Pune learning JavaScript. By Sacknet. So yeah, about a project. So, I, yeah, the project is uh, uh, for the need, for the very need of uh, Google not being so uh, so so precise for some of the subjective questions. So what we believe is, if we have a peer network of friends who are indexing their own visited URLs, uh, the chances are better that we will find our answers for a particular topic, let's say for JavaScript or AWS hosting or something like that. So this is a small little search engine which only uh, is uh, targeting to index around 1000 URLs, not more than that probably. And uh, if I'm running an uh, instance of GarageRank, somebody can supply, subscribe to this, uh, this engine and the results of the engine and uh, probably curate it better. Yeah. So this is called GarageRank? This is GarageRank. Right? Yeah. And okay. So you can discover things together, so you can use each other's research. And uh, the distributed nature is really what makes it cool. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so um, how much have you completed till now? Well, uh, we ran into a lot of walls. Yeah, so, basically, the data entry. Okay. The, so, we we figured that we'll need a browser or extension that actually feeds your uh, bookmarks and uh, history, and uh, not just able to you know get the Chrome APIs to work. So that's th that's the biggest uh, problem that we have faced. Otherwise, uh, about all about this problem, uh, we have uh, we we had our test data, and uh, except for the extension, we are like uh, POCs. We have PR. We have PR. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
exactly. Right, great. And um, so, if this is how much you've been able to do, what, what do you plan for the future? As in, we we really need to get the either the Chrome extension or browser extension running, right. or any alternative to that. And uh, we also would like to create an Amazon AMI. So basically, anybody can just use that AMI and start their own instance. He doesn't need to, you know, learn what is JavaScript or anything of technical side. Just have an Amazon account, and they should be able to start it. So every every person can have its own chota sa search engine, and uh, they can probably subscribe to their friends' search engine as well, which are also the same instances of GarageBand, and they can communicate. They can have a collaborative yeah, effort. Eff effort and they collaborative can discovery. Discovery. Yeah, like Excellent. So. And what technologies have you used here? Uh, we so have we used uh, Node.js and MongoDB backend, yeah. and uh, we, we we prefer Mongo app because they they give you a restful. You can go for any Mongo thing that gives you a restful API, so, so that we can directly consume it off the browser. Right. So. All right, perfect. Um, could you go ahead and show me what you guys have done so far? Yeah. So as I said. The things are not wired correctly because uh, the Chrome extension is uh, the void here. This is what we think that should look. So you have a search bar and say I hunt for Pune or something. So it gives me Pune India link. Mm -hmm. So that is it. And we we would like to have this button. So it says button I'm is. I'm never unlucky. All right. The point is that this point of time when you click it, gives you tells you that yes, you are unlucky. It gives you an alert. So for that's so for right now. Yeah. All right. So for right now, you are still unlucky <laughs> not to have this project running. But yes, we would like to change it in a week's time. Okay. Very nice. Um. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else? You, have? you can. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You can. You know, focus. Do focus. Mm. So you just go to. You can zoom. You're on GarageBand and write this URL mm -hmm. and you can see most of the code. Right. Okay. Okay, fine. Perfect. Uh, is there anything else you guys would like to add? Or? Not really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not really. No. Okay. Well, more, great. More and just get better. Okay, nice. Great. Okay, stay tuned. Yeah, and we'll more red pieces. More red <laughs> Excellent. All right then. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thank thanks. Thanks for the wonderful event. Yep. Hey. So, I am Akshay Mathur, and all of us are from Shop Socially. I'm Saran. I'm Sunila, and he's Siddharth. So, this very basic idea that we came up with today was, you know, picture is worth thousand words, and everybody. I mean, pictures are lovely. Everybody wants to look at them, and we want to follow certain topics. So the natural instinct of us is to, you know, first grab the pictures about those topics. Just to give an example, for example, if you are following Bollywood very closely, I mean, a lot of people actually do it on Twitter. And <clears throat> so one of the things that we noticed was that we are very crazy about the pictures that the stars are actually tweeting about. And we wanted some easy way to browse those pictures. So the idea was very simple. But when we started developing it, we Kind of that generalized it to into a concept that you know people generally like to follow some topics. For example, you know people would like to follow Metallica concert and they would like to you know they'll be looking for pictures that people are sharing about Metallica concert. So, so we started building on that that concept and uh, you know what would be easy way to gather pictures that people are sharing about a particular topic and then present it in a nice way that people are used to browse. Browsing. <coughs> so essentially, then we came up with the idea of developing something that Pinterest has been uh, has been using for presentation, and then using Twitter for uh, picture content that people are actually sharing about certain topics. <coughs> so the idea was this, and, and and we fairly came close to about building a prototype. I would say uh, the end product is still it will it will definitely need a lot of time. I would say. But it, it's looking in good shape, and we can see see it, it is valuable definitely, and that it, that you can see in the demo. 
Uh, so I'll briefly mention about the technologies that we used here. So at the front end, uh, we use Bootstrap uh, for layout and CSS, which Rohan uh, Dege helped us to kind of develop very quickly. Then the entire front end has been uh, <coughs> developed using CoffeeScript and Backbone as MVC platform, which Aksha actually worked on. And then on the backend side, all of us, uh, Siddharth, me and Sarang work, where we use Python as primary language and web framework uh, Pylon. And <clears throat> for rest of the stuff, parsing, etc., beautiful soup, and as far as main data store was concerned, we used MongoDB for that. So this was the main technology that we used. So right now it is not live, it is running on our local system, but we plan to put it live on internet, uh, I mean, in early, early this week, basically. So, yeah, so this was fun. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the demo. <coughs> oh, Andre, uh, yeah, if you don't mind turning it this way, okay. so the audience can see. Okay, <laughs> so basically, like, it's very, suppose I want, I want to follow about cats. All right. Okay, so I enter, cat, I enter term that, uh, give, give me the photos which, which people are tweeting out about cats. So, this is it. This, these are the pics that people are tweeting about cats. As you can see, it shows it shows you the picture of the cat. All right, and the people who have tweeted about it. Two people down there. Yes. So if you if you look at the two people. If you if you look the uh, go to the side here. All right. This here, photo this yes. Right. This photo has been tweeted by two people, which okay. you can see here. All right. So this is the ma main concept. Like uh, suppose I want to f f uh, follow an event, probably. Suppose I want Metallica photos, what people are sharing. So I'll just enter Metallica. So, all right. I'm sorry, I got the spelling wrong. T A actually. This is it. So these are the pics people, okay, are tweeting about Metallica. So this is the basic concept. The, ma the main problem that we are tra trying to solve here is that people want to look at pictures, but there is not a good way in Twitter to see about the uh, see the pictures. But like suppose there are 400 tweets and only 10 of those contain pictures. So it's very difficult to actually uh, go through all all 400 of those and find out find out those 10 which actually contains the picture. This is a solution which will solve that problem very easily. Okay. And we plan it to expand it. Like suppose uh, you can have your own boards. You can go on, you can go online on tweet on tweet board, and you can create your own boards, which you can come uh, come the next day and see. Every day you can come to come to those boards and see what are the latest happenings there. Mm -hmm. Like in like take the example of Facebook. You every day go there just because you want to see what people you have subscribed to are doing. So similarly, in the same in the same fashion, in Tweet Board, you can make your own boards, your own topics which you want to follow, and you can see the pictures that people are tweeting about. I think that is the stickiness factor that will really drive this, and I think it's great. All right, thanks. And actually, we'll extend it to video as well. I mean, video is another rich content that people try to follow, and. Then, then people can follow the boards created by other people. That's the extension, you know, if you really want to see the expansion of, of, of tweet board. That's what we I mean, wanted the, to set it. There is a lot of dimension that this, uh, this could have possibly, which we are not able to think right now. It could become something very different. It could become something uh, like people use in a day-to-day -day life, supposed to get wallpapers, for example. It could become anything. So, we, I think this is great. We oh, all do. Yes, yeah. 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 This is so, something we'll use ourselves. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the main problem. So, like if you, if you love using what you are building, then then there is the joy, actually. Excellent. Anything more to add? Yeah. That's done. All yeah. right. Thank Perfect. you. Okay. Thank you. All Thanks right. for hosting us, man. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Sure. Thanks for coming. Thanks. So I'm here with Amit Singh the co-founder of AmiWorks, who has so kindly allowed us to use his venue and actually stayed awake all night long hacking with us. So I mean, let's meet the extraordinary man behind AmiWorks. So Amit, 
Okay, so what, what are your experiences here? How did you find this hack night? So hack night was fun. I actually enjoyed it. But the one thought that came to mind, it was more like a campfire kind of thing for geek night geeks. And uh, yeah, we all almost everyone was coding and stuff, so it was fun. And um, so, would you do this again? Yes, of course. Then <laughs> now I'm already thinking of doing it for the WordPress guys in Pune. So I might start a WordPress hack night. Excellent. Just for the fun. And is there anything else you want to tell for the folks who are watching this video? Hey, you should have joined us. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well put. So, once again, thank you so much for allowing us to use this and thanks for actually staying awake. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so here we have Netroy, whose head I almost sat on earlier tonight. At least this time he doesn't have a pillow on his head. So he's one of the main guys who helped organize this thing. And as you can see, he's I dead tired. Kept everything, yeah. Everyone awake. yeah, that's true. He kept everyone awake. Finally, his question was, I'm bored. Come on, let me help you. Let me help you. So we're here with the man, or at least we're here with his head. So ideally, some words will come out. Come on, Netroy or Aditya. Well, how did you feel about the event? Okay, so that's him saying he really enjoyed this event and he's and looking forward. He's now trying to sleep. Yeah, and now he's basically trying to sleep. So we'll come back to you in a while. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Okay, so we're back. It's me, Billy. Hello, people. I'm dead tired. Four and a half Red Bulls into this thing. I can't think clearly, so I can't really say anything either. Basically, this was a lot of fun. If you're not working at Hasgeek, work at Hasgeek. And if you're not here for Hacknets, come man. It's a lot of fun. Okay. But anyway, um, looking forward to seeing you guys at the actual event and at future Hacknets. This is Billy, tuning out.